Alright guys, now it's time to set our RC rate, the super rate, and the expos, as well as throttle mid and throttle expo. I know the last video I showed you how to remove filters and adjust filters. Um, you don't have to do it in this order. You can uh, adjust your rates and expos first, you can do it dead last, completely up to you, does not matter. Also in the filter video and in the next video when I get into PID tuning, uh, I gave you and will still give you a bunch of warnings and things to do, things not to do, like use the normal props you normally use, you know, mount your HD camera if you do normally use an HD camera, and blah 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 blah, things to keep you from smoking motors and ESCs. Whenever you were doing this, you have nothing to worry about. Uh, there's really nothing you can screw up. And uh, just me personally, I actually adjust my rates and expos first. I, I do that before I even leave the house, before I even do my first flight, just because I already know what I like. And I have the same rates and expos on all my builds. So really, this is kind of something you only have to do once to figure out what you like, and then you can just apply it to everything. Also keep in mind with your rates, just like PIDs, you can have three different profiles. So uh, say you want to make one profile just for acrobatic flying and freestyling. But you can also have another profile for when you're trying to race. And you maybe you want to you know, change your rates and expos up a little bit. And then you can quickly switch between the two, either using stick commands on your transmitter, or you can use a laptop, or if you have an on-screen display, you can change it that way. So there's many different ways of going between the different profiles. Now on this build, uh, I have adjusted the filters, which we did in the last video. I did that to both of these builds. I'm using the Martian 2 for this video just to keep switching it up for you guys. I don't want you to think I'm favoring one or the other. But the PIDs and the rates and filters are still at default. The default RC rate is at 1. The default uh, super rate, I believe, is 0, if I remember right. And the expo is also 0. Throttle mid default is 0.5 and throttle expo is 0. The first thing I do is throttle mid and throttle expo, just because it's the easiest. Throttle mid is what it sounds like, it's referring to your throttle stick. And at 0.5, that would be 50% throttle, so your stick would be right in the center. But because the expo is still at 0, it's not doing anything, it's basically turned off. So with the expo at zero you could set the throttle mid to 0 0.9 0 0.1 doesn't matter it's not doing anything until you turn the expo on let's not worry about expo right yet first we need to find what we want our mid throttle to be some guys will set this to uh, whatever hover is for them say they use about you know 30 percent throttle to hover then they'll set that to 0 0.3 because that's 30 percent what i like to do is set my throttle mid to uh what I spend what throttle I use the most. What it's hard to explain how to. It's, this is hard to word. Whatever throttle I'm using the majority of the time, that's where I set mine. And this is just going to be when I'm uh, cruising forward, thinking about what I'm going to do next. You know, some kind of flip or roll, but I'm just moving forward. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, if you have, if you don't have an on-screen display, you can just kind of guess at how much percentage you are using. If you do have an on-screen display, then that's great because you can actually see your throttle percentage. So if we look at the bottom left-hand side of my screen, I've got the throttle percentage turned on. If I increase the throttle, we see that number going up and changing. So I'm just going to fly it around a bit and uh, just keep moving forward. And as I'm moving forward, I'm noticing how much throttle I'm using. And this right here is where I spend the majority of my time as I'm lining myself up for the next trick. So we'll call it somewhere between, uh, I don't know, 40 to 45 percent. Okay, I went ahead and made my changes. I set my throttle uh, midpoint to 0.45 because that's 45 percent. But like I said, that's not going to do anything until you turn the expo on. Now the Expo, that's not something that I can show you, that's something that you have to feel. And Throttle Expo is going to apply to your uh, Roll and Pitch Expo as well, so whatever I say goes for both. With your Expo, the, the more you increase it, the more you're going to see that line kind of bending on the throttle graph. What this means is, uh, let's say you set it really high, then you, 
the more you move the stick in the center, the less input it's going to have, making it more controllable as, you know, in the center. And then once you get your stick towards the edges, it's going to, be, it's going to ramp that throttle in more quickly. That's really the best I can explain it. Like I said, it's something you just have to try out for yourself and find what you like best. I set mine to 0.3, and that's where I like it. So now we can move on to RC rate. Like I said, I still have my RC rate set to 1.0 with the uh, super rate at 0 and expo at 0. Let's go ahead and fly it and see what that looks like. Okay, here we go. Uh, as I fly it, I'm taking note at how touchy the sticks are in the center as well as how fast it flips and rolls. So I'm just, I'm just going to fly around a little bit, notice how touchy it is in the center of the sticks, and it's pretty touchy. Now I'm going to do a couple uh, rolls. Let's do a flip. Alright, as I was flipping and rolling, that was with my sticks all the way to the end. That's as fast as it will roll and flip. So, because it was pretty touchy for me in the center of the sticks, just and that's just my personal you know, take on it, I'm going to decrease it from one. If you want it more touchy, then you can increase it over one. To adjust your rates and expos, you can use a laptop, or if you do have a flight controller, like a, one that does support the Betaflight OSD feature, or an OSD that uses the MW OSD firmware, you can enter a menu using the sticks, and on, the, on this Omnibus with the Betaflight OSD, it's going to be y'all to the left, pitch up. Then I will go to Profile, Rate, and change my RC rate. I already know what I like, but I'm going to go to 0.5 just to show you the difference. Then go back, back, save and reboot. So now let's give it another go and see you know, if it's better or worse. Because I lowered the rate, I should have more control in the center of the sticks. So I can immediately feel a huge difference because I can move my sticks around a lot more. It's not as shaky, not as jittery. I have a lot more control now. Now if I do a roll, well notice that it's rolling slower. Same thing for flips, much slower. And now it's with my sticks all the way to the end. Wow, my bad guys. Uh, whenever I said the RC super rate was at zero, I was wrong. Default is actually 0.7 for roll pitch and y'all, so my bad. Now what I've done is cut to the chase because like I said, I already know what I like my rates and expos to be set at and I picked a 0.75 for the RC rate. And I did that uh, for roll pitch and y'all, 0.75 for all three. I know there's only one input for roll, but that's also being applied to pitch as well. The next thing you want to do is adjust your super rate. The RC rate, like I said, this is adjusting how, uh, how much control you want in the center of the stick. The super rate is how much, well, how quickly do you want it to do your rolls, flips, and yaw spins on the edge of the stick. If you look at the chart right now, uh, next to these rates and expos, it's going to show you degrees per second. With mine set to 0.75 for the RC rate, and the default 0.7 for the super rate, it's giving me 490 degrees per second. And that is why it's flipping and rolling so slow. Setting the super rate is very simple. The higher you go, the faster it's going to do those flips, rolls, and y'all spins. I know that I personally like uh, with, I mean, like I said, the, the RC rate, as you change that, that's going to change the end result, the end degrees per second. So with me having mindset at 0.75, that's giving me the 490 degrees per second. Now if you set yours to something different, you're going to see something different with the uh, super rate at 0.7. I'm really doing my best to make this not confusing. But end result, I know that I like my degrees per second anywhere from 1000 to 1200. And for me to get at 1,000 to 1,200, 
This means that my super rate needs to be anywhere from 0.82 to 0.88. And this is where, like I was saying before, you get three different rate profiles. I'll set one of my rate profiles for 0.82, and I'll set another one for probably 0.85, and another for 0.88. And that way I can just switch between the three depending on where I'm at and the environment that I'm flying in. Because that will make me go anywhere between 1000 degrees per second to 1200 degrees per second depending on you know where I'm at and what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and set mine to uh, let's say 0.86 for roll, pitch, and yaw. Okay with my uh, rates at 0.75 and my super rates at 0.86 that's giving me a total of 1027 degrees per second. So now let me show you what that looks like. Okay, now we should be able to do those flips and rolls a lot more quickly. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And I still keep that controllability in the center of the stick because, uh, you know, that's the whole point of me setting the RC rate to 0.75. Oh, jeez. I didn't see that coming. And now the final step is going to be setting the Expos for roll, pitch, and yaw. This is going to be just like the Expo for the throttle. It's something that I can't show you. It's something that you have to feel. I set mine to 0.3. So I have 0.3 on roll, pitch, yaw, and throttle. That's just what I prefer. You need to find what you prefer. And that's going to wrap it up. So setting your rates and expos, it's a very simple thing to do. And like I said, you really you only have to do it once to get an idea of what you like. And then you can just kind of set the same thing on all your multi-rotors. You might have to fine tune it from multi-rotor to multi-rotor just because of different sizes and weights. But for the most part, they're going to be very similar. So that does it. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you again for the next video when we get into pit tuning.